Welcome to the Ins and Outs of Roundabout series, brought to you by the City of Thunder Bay. This informative video collection serves as a guide on how to safely drive, walk, and cycle through our city's newly developed roundabouts. Let's continue with Part 3, How to Cycle Through a Roundabout. As a cyclist, you have two options for how to navigate a roundabout depending on your confidence level. You have the option to ride through the roundabout adhering to the same traffic laws as a driver, or to dismount and walk your bicycle along the outside of the roundabout as a pedestrian. For experienced cyclists who choose to ride through the roundabout as if they were driving a car, merge into the appropriate travel lane for the direction you are headed before entering the roundabout. Stay in the middle of the lane until you are clear of the roundabout. Do not hug the curb line. Use hand signals to indicate your intended movements. Like vehicles, cyclists must follow the rules of the road and follow best practices in the roundabout. Stay in your lane. Do not pass vehicles in the roundabout. Do not stop inside the roundabout unless to avoid a collision. Give large vehicles extra space. And if you miss your exit, do not back up. Simply go around again. For less confident cyclists who choose to dismount and walk their bicycle as a pedestrian, exit the street before reaching the roundabout at a curb cut. Dismount and walk your bicycle using the pedestrian crossovers. Look at the drivers and make eye contact. Always make sure the driver sees you before crossing. Start to cross only when you are sure the driver has stopped and it is safe to do so. Always use the sidewalks, paths, and crossovers around the outside of the roundabout. Do not walk your bicycle across the center island of the roundabout. Do not start to cross if a driver cannot safely stop. And remember to watch for drivers in the next lane to ensure the driver sees you crossing. When used correctly, roundabouts make our roads safer for drivers, pedestrians, and cyclists. They also improve traffic flow and reduce pollution and fuel consumption. Stay tuned for other ins and outs in the series, and be sure to visit thunderbay.ca roundabout for more information.